retopology. Let's begin. So you can see I have a fairly complex character and I have the decimated version of the same character in Blender just to make Blender run a little bit more smoother. So I'll take a cube and what I'm trying to do here right now is not to snap each and every vertex as in, in order to retopologize it. But what I'll do is just make a block out, a rough block out of the area which I want to retopologize. The method that I'm trying to show you is fairly uncomplex and it should take you very little time to get better results. Again, you do not really have to be precise with where you snap your vertices. Just make sure that you put the loops in proper places and just make sure that the area that you are trying to retopologize gets covered completely. As you can see, I'm occasionally adding new edge loops just to make sure that the density of the polygons remains constant so that I can get a cleaner topology when I'm trying to remap it on the high poly. Uh, yeah, right, that looks good enough. Uh, this whole process took me around three to four minutes in real time, including all the finer adjustment that you see me doing in here. And now I'll be mirroring it and then I'll be exporting it back to ZBrush. All right, so now I am inside of ZBrush. I have imported the same model that I made in Blender. And you can already see there are some stuff that I need to fix. So like for example, the scap that you're looking in here, I need to delete it because I want it to be hollow. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a subdivision and I'll just move the object on the subtool hierarchy uh, to the top to make sure that the ZRAP works perfectly fine. Yeah, again, before ZRAP, just make sure that you delete all the subdivision history that you made, right? And now that I'm in ZRAP, I'll be putting on the points. Just make sure that you mirror the points the blue one is the low poly one, which is going to be wrapped. And the white one is the surface on which the blue one is going to be wrapped. Just make sure that you roughly put the points on the areas which are like most important. Say for example, the areas that is underneath the arms because th the main loops will be going inside there, right? And uh, the areas which are hollow. So yeah, uh, there we have it with the Z-Wrap itself. A little bit on the cleanup side, we might need to work out on the mask. We might need to work out on a little bit smoothing. And I'll just mirror and weld it, smooth again, and I'll probably delete the extra edge loops that we have in here. Yeah, those weren't really needed. Again, after smoothing, you can reproject it once more time. You know, you can uh, subdivide it one more time itself. Here you can see there is some error while reprojecting it because the area is that surface area specifically is a little bit outwards so i'll just increase the projection distance and reproject it and there we have it i'll just export it back import it back into blender let's see how it works out and yeah th there you go it's, it's it's pretty good it's good for baking it's good for uv unwrapping the loops are pretty good it's good for animation and that's how i do my retopology that's all folks i'll see you on the next one